It's time once again to give the old roll call of this week's horror comics coming to a comic shop near you. Remember, this isn't a set of reviews, just a list of what you'll find when you hit the comic shops this week in Comics Horror, June 19th, 2024. Okay, let's check out This Week in Comics Horror, June 19th, 2024. While it's more of a dark adventure tale with comedic touches, Elvira Meets H.P. Lovecraft also offers up some cheesecakey covers, making it our only comic this week that fits into our ass, titties, ass and titties, ass, ass, titties, titties, ass and titties section. Elvira continues to look for a way out of a cosmic and otherworldly land inspired by Lovecraft's most famous tales. Dynamite never fails in delivering on the TNA for at least one of its covers. Ah, there it is. Titties. Independent horror is where it's at. Here are a few comics proving just that. Blood Moon Comics has a new title this week. Deliver Us From Evil from Peter Bro and Mattea Doghini. This series promises to mix the acidic and cynical attitude of Hellblazer into the conspiracy-laden world of X-Files. Beware the Witch's Shadow, Fangs for the Memories, number one, is the first comic from American mythology this week. It's by James Kuhorik, J.C. Spence, S.A. Check, and a super cool artist that I've worked with in the past, Elmer V. Cantata. This is an anthology-style comic with a wise-cracking witch acting as a tour guide through various hells. American Mythology also has Al Capone Vampire No. 0 from J.C. Vaughn, Brandon Frame, and Brian Frame. This origin issue tells us how Al Capone the gangster becomes Al Capone the vampire. The Crying Boy No. 3 continues to have the most disturbing covers I've seen on a comic in quite a while. It's about a cursed painting and the unfortunate people who come into possession of it. This one is from Nial O'Rourke and Rob Moran, and those nightmarish covers are by Hernan Gonzalez. Finally, Archie and the gang take on a Lovecraftian apocalypse in Archie Comics Judgment Day No. 2 from Aubrey Sitterson and Megan Hutchison. Here's the second tier of horrors that are from some more mainstream publishers. The Butcher's Boy, number two, from Landry Q. Walker, Justin Greenwood, and Dark Horse Comics involves a pair of people who may be stalked by a serial killer, or then again, it might just be hallucinations from some tainted meat they ate. I have to admit, I've fallen off House of Slaughter. Issue number 24 of James Tiny and the Fourth's spin-off series continues the Butcher's War arc, which has been running through the title for the last few issues. Spectrograph is another one from Tinyan. This time he's paired up with artist Christian Ward and Distillery to tell a story of a haunted mansion and a paranormal investigation. And Cy Spurrier and Aaron Campbell continue to chart John Constantine's trek across America to save his soul in Hellblazer Dead in America. Todd McFarlane's been busy expanding the Spawn universe at Image Comics. He writes Misery No. 1 with art by the super-talented Simon Kodransky. This one's about a young girl who might be the daughter of Al Simmons, who is developing supernatural powers. And Spawn loses his powers in issue number 354 of his own series, forcing him to seek help from the unlikeliest of allies. Finally, Marvel continues its big blood hunt event where the Earth is covered in darkness, allowing vampires to take over the world. Again, this is a massive crossover where basically every hero takes on vampires or is turned into a vampire. You've got Wolverine taking on vamps with some kind of Knights Templar gal. Black Panther is infected with vampirism and takes on his sister in Wakanda. Blade's daughter Bloodline and Daredevil take on Dracula. And Doctor Strange has also been infected with vampirism. I'm sure there's other drama going on in this crossover, but honestly, I'm not too interested in it. If it were all going on in a solid Tomb of Dracula series, I'd be all over it. But spread thin across close to 60 titles? No thanks. Well, there you have it. That was another handful of horror comics released this week. Surely there's something I listed here that you'll find worth your precious time and hard-earned money. Let me know which ones you're interested in or not interested in down in the comments please do me a favor and punch that like button down below.
Share this video with all of your social media addicted pals. Click subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications. Stuck inside your reality You're doomed Oh, you're doomed You're Inside that 